Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you all how to introduce simple science and gardening to children, children as young as 2 years old. I've used different types of paints that I had in my kitchen cupboard. So I've grown pinto beans, kidney beans, chickpeas and sugar peas. Soak the beans overnight with some cold water so that they become nice and soft. As an example, I'm sharing with you how you can plant these uh, beans. So here I'm showing you and with the same example you can do with the rest of the beans. So I've soaked the peas overnight and then you need some glass jars kitchen towel paper, newspaper, cotton wool you can use and some water. You can do this activity with a very young child, even a child as young as 2 years old. A pre-preparation you can do with the child such as ripping off the tissue paper. Place about 2 or 3 pieces of tissue paper in the jar. Next, take few peas and throw them in the jar. Next, cover the peas with one or two pieces of tissue paper. And then water your peas, but don't make it too wet, just slightly damp it. Now I'm going to finish planting the rest of the peas. Here I have them. So I place them on a windowsill where they will receive some sunlight. This will help the peas to germinate quickly. I managed to record all the progress of the beans that I had planted. So here I have the peas, they have sprouted. Next I have the kidney beans and the pinto beans and the chickpeas here I have the beans at one week and you can see how they formed a good root system stems and the leaves here at nine days and you can see how they're pushing the tissue paper out of the jar here are the peas and kidney beans and they both have foam leaves here are the chickpeas and they have very small leaves and the pinto beans are still very slow but they will soon catch up now at 11 days and you can see that they are growing very fast even the pinto beans have caught up with the rest of the beans at 13 days, the beans have really grown into a plant. So from a bean, it germinated and now it's become a plant. So introduce different words. You can compare the sizes of the leaves. So there is so much you can do with this simple activity with children. You can take this experiment to the next level so you can say to the child that these plants need to be planted outside in the soil where they will get nourishment and they also need full sunlight so here I'm going to separate the beans into individual pots next I have the peas and the chickpeas so the beans and the chickpeas can tolerate cold weather so i'm going to plant them directly in the soil and uh, you can see here that they are fully ready to be planted outside in the soil the same with the peas as well they need to go in the soil so I'm going to start with the chickpeas 
and you can see the these chickpeas have been planted in the soil about three weeks ago and I had left them outside and they can really tolerate cold weather and I had also grown some directly in the soil and they have sprouted and they're about two centimeters uh, uh, tall as well so the ones in the jar I'm going to also plant them in the soil next to each other because chickpeas like to be hurdled together so they support each other just be careful when you take the chickpeas out of the jar rather than pulling the plant you pull the tissue paper out so gently pull it out and you just plant it in the ground so I'm not going to separate them because you do not disturb the roots I'm just going to plant them as they are together plant them with the tissue paper because the tissue paper will disintegrate next I want to share with you how to plant peas and here I have some peas that I planted about three weeks ago in a shallow dish and I don't want them to grow very tall like the full size plant which is about uh, over a meter in height I just want the shoots because then I can cut the top of the shoots and I can add them in salad you can either leave your peas like this in a small dish because I have it because I want to use it in my salad so here is my salad bowl and I'm waiting for it to grow so it's going to be about two weeks so that's one way of using your peas you can leave your peas in the jar and use them in salad so you can just snip off the top part and chop it and put it in your salad they're very tasty but I want to grow mine in the ground so I'm going to grow them here in the soil um, along this uh, wire fence so it will climb up I'm not separating the peas I'm going to plant them as they are with the tissue paper because again tissue paper will disintegrate in the ground I want uh, these peas to grow into a full size plant and enjoy the peas in the pot peas and the chickpeas are planted in the ground but I still need to separate the beans so the kidney beans and the pinto beans so I'm going to gently pull the plants out of the jar and uh, separate them individually I have separated the beans now and I'm going to plant them into individual pots um, small pots because um, I want them still to be in a warm place I'm going to put them in my cold frame so I'm using my homemade compost you can see that I've not separated them from the tissue paper because I'm again going to plant them with the tissue paper as the tissue paper will disintegrate in the soil and once I have separated all the plants I'm going to water them, label them and then put them in the cold frame for about a week and a half. So let me just go and do all that. Once planted, give them some water. And label them. Here they are in the cold frame and they will stay with the rest of my other seedlings. After one and a half weeks, I planted the kidney beans in the soil and the pinto beans in this big tub. I will do an update video very soon and let you know about the progress. Simple science activity will give your child a lot more pleasure and will introduce him to a 
totally different world of plants and enhance his or hers vocabulary. If you've liked this video, then press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, be safe.